to the garden. This is the children's garden and it used to be a lot bigger, but we've sized it down. We have cupcake parties and cookie parties for little kids that live in motels with their grandmas and their grandmas. Now this big tree you see in right here, it's going bye-bye. And this area is not <laughs> fixed up because the tree's coming down. My mom used to do the street ministry for uh, homeless people in Wichita, Kansas. And that's where we get a lot of our kindness and our, our giving spirit to, to people who, that need it. <laughs> mom brings people here and gives them gifts of kindness. Like in the winter time, she'll go underneath the bridges yeah. and give blankets and food. And stuffed animals. Stuffed animals. And, and I've seen her go to places that most people would not go to because it's pretty sketchy. Yeah, but Meaning, they need love. Everybody needs love in the world. Mm -hmm. And my mom helped these people out when they most needed it. And I know she's seen a lot of people have their lives turned around with the kindness and the help that she'd given them. Through the Lord. Through the Lord. Through the Lord. The little children would come to the well, put into the garden by Eagle Scouts. Yeah. And this is where the children would throw fake coins in and make wishes. Yeah, Little children we go, they call this their little house. And when this is fixed up, it's really cute. And we have story time in the gazebo. And oh, what? You read books and stuff in here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. we have story so time. this this was actually a gift, wasn't it? That, yes, that... from Calvary Chapel Church in Pretty Prairie, Kansas. That... It was a free gift. They did it so I could help the children. And I thought it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Now, my mom decorates her, her garden a lot with fake flowers. Because the children don't know the difference. The, 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 the children don't know the difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just makes it beautiful. It gives a color and a personality and it dresses up the garden. And the children love to run the paths and cross the bridge, which the Eagle Scouts built as well as a gift for the garden. They made the, the country stone path as a gift and put up the little fence. They did all this free for the street ministry for the children. This is a path that the children love to run because it goes all the way around the gazebo. No, the path goes the all the way around. Ring the chimes. It goes around the trees. Over the bridge, which was to a gift, yeah. Eagle Scouts. So mom just uh, loves to decorate. Mm -hmm. And this is where I get my, my artsy fartsy stuff, I call it. Because my mom just loves to decorate. And we have 50 peony plants growing, 50 live forevers growing. 50 live forever peonies. And in here, the kids love to come into this little room, ring the chimes, and this is called the secret chamber, they call it. <laughs> so they come in here and they like to sit here and have tea and their cookies and their cupcake. And as the uh, as the Peonies grow with the path. The garden will have a little more personality, and this little path might look little to you, but if you're three years old, that path is a perfect little path. And over here, Grandpa's got his tomato planted, so there are his. I had the children come in and they planted the daylilies. They planted all the yellow daylilies and the little red ones. The children did all of this. One year I had tomatoes growing everywhere because we let the kids plant wherever they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> so mom's got some beautiful peonies coming in. Yeah. And all these flowers here are real. And they're from the children. They're daylilies and each lives day forever. Yeah. Each daylily stands for a different child. Oh, every a different child planted one of these. Yeah. She's got some beautiful ones over there. Look at that orange and yellow. Yeah. She's got some red ones. Grandfather just, oh, lucky I found a rabbit. The hidden rabbit has been everywhere today. And here comes the prettiest flower in the garden. <laughs> I can't this see This is yet. the reason the garden exists. And Grandfather put in night. some new gazebos. <laughs> well, how did that rabbit get there? Oh my goodness. Now this is my beautiful granddaughter, Madison. This is Kevin Hansen and Rachel's baby. And she's the prettiest flower and, in the garden this morning. Yes, she yes. is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spirit. Now this is a country wagon. They usually cost about 150 a piece, but I have a tremendous friend 
and he's made this up for the garden so I keep this one and I made sure my children if they wanted one had one for their place too. Okay, sweetie. And then Hold on, really, Mama. there's not a whole lot left. We've been downsizing the garden a little bit. But grandfather's pulled up a lot of stones but I am redoing and making it and I'm not going to let go of the garden because I still bring children here. Okay, the children love to go over the bridge. And when they get up here, you'll see this amazing tree that most people would cut down because it's not really alive, but it has this amazing vine growing on it. And when these vine starts greening, which you can see, uh, it'll cover the entire tree. But I try to get different birdhouses through the year and put into this tree and the children love it. Uh, some of the newer houses like this one, I had a little girl who lost her daddy and she liked the color blue. And she, bought, she picked this house out and so she saw me hang it in the tree just for her, for her daddy. That's, that's special. Special story. There. I like that one there. It's about rusted out. Yeah. That is a really cool one. And the, and the birds get in there and they drink from that. Really? Now this one here, well, this is a cat. I'm pretty sure most birds would be scared to death of this birdhouse right here, Mom. <laughs> and that was done and painted especially for the garden so back to this tree yeah as you can tell mom loves to decorate this She's got bicycle, little bitches bicycles this, this bicycle is 31 years old wow had it a long time my sister bessie that's gone now picked this out and i just let it be original and uh, don't worry about it because she didn't want me to so i'm just <laughs> leaving it in the garden just for her i love chimes uh, my main big chimes are getting old and they're falling apart uh, but I plan on eventually slowly replacing those but I want you to see the leaves on this vine are right here yeah it's a it's a grapeless grapevine uh -huh, and this tree will be covered with these beautiful leaves so hmm these vines cover the whole thing yeah the whole and tree it gives the birds shelter yeah and they hide in there and they have nests in all the bird houses grandma's got honeysuckle growing honeysuckle i've got a little everything lost is honeysuckles beautiful bird baths and this is the flower card i just had it redone and the children love to decorate the flower card you let them come in and decorate it all the time this was done by about four six-year-old girls and two eight-year-old girls That's and cool. I thought they did a beautiful job yeah and uh, now come fall all the flowers will be fall flowers It'll oh beautiful beautiful maybe all some flowers so I want to show her some more of these birdhouses here yeah. mom so these birdhouses bird are birdhouse has a story well, what's the story on that one this old birdhouse was a little boy he was about six now he lost his grandma and grandpa at the same time. Oh no. And that birdhouse has been up there probably two years now. Really? In this one? That one's recently, it's a Walmart birdhouse and it's new and it was from a little girl that lives down the street. But you know what? Every child that hangs a birdhouse is special to me. Every child's special. Every child is special. Now this is my peonies. Peonies? These were my grandmother's peonies. And all together, there's 50 peonies in the garden. They're oh, just wow. spread out. And I have probably 50 live forever plants for these. So the garden's made up of ground covers. These are live forever. So they're uh -huh. they're kind of hard to like a, destroy. And they do have flowers. Yeah. And the violets are, they come up every year. Everybody knows what violets are. I have a little granddaughter around here, great granddaughter, that's hiding all over the place. <laughs> and uh, anyway, this is the garden. This so, will be a clean path here soon. At, at one time, the garden went all, all the, the way, way around. But it's getting And it went nice way now. back in there. A half moon. Mm -hmm. But the garden's just getting too much for mom to, yeah. to maintain. I'm getting older. And. Uh, so I'm it, gonna put it downsides a little bit, but yeah. you know what? It's still an amazing place for kids to and play. And I still have mothers knock on the door that were little when they came to the garden that bring their little children 
into the garden to see it. So I know it touched their heart. Anyway, that's the most important thing in the world is touching any child's heart that you can. That's right. Yeah. So I wanted you guys to meet my mom. And, Hello. And I wanted you to to all meet her because she's an amazing woman. And Here's my amazing, amazing granddaughter. Uh, here comes a little. Oh, and then there's the bunny. He's a bunny. So I want you guys to uh, wish everybody you know, that you, all the mothers you, you know out there, happy Mother's Day to all of you. Don't forget your moms because they're special. And you know what? We don't get to keep them forever. So. And I love my kids so much. We love, I love you too, Mom. So, uh, <laughs> she's gonna make me cry, guys. And they live so far away now, so. Yeah, so it's kind of a special treat when we get to come see you. Yes. Um, so, thank you for coming. I'll, I'll give you some after shots with my mom in them. Oh, mom. And uh, I just want to say thank oh, you again oil. for everybody that comes to Cabin on a Hill. We love y'all. Yeah. And uh, have a beautiful, blessed day at Cabin on a Hill. We love you. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. This is my faithful wagon that I've used for years from the very beginning when I started this garden. Is that and a radio flyer? It is, what? and it is one of my favorite, favorite wagons.